All right, if you're looking for a simple indicator for temperature, now this could be designed for hot or cold use. The, the one I designed here is designed for 160 degrees Fahrenheit. This LED right here will illuminate. And it's a very simple circuit. All it requires is a LM741 integrated circuit. I have a 5K potentiometer. I have a 1K resistor, I have a 3.3 volt Zener, I have a 2.2K resistor going into this red LED. And that is pretty much it. Oh, inside here, where it's flattened out, all right, there's a thermistor in here, it's a 10K. And I wanted a really nice probe. So I ended, up make, I ended up making this one. I, I had some antennas laying around. And what I did is I found a section of antenna that was very close to the size of the thermistor. And the only way the thermistor would fit is if I slightly flattened out the tube. So what I did is I took the antenna and I slid it through an adjustable wrench, the jaws on the wrench, where it's very smooth. And I pulled it all the way through. And as you can see, it put this nice flat edge. The surface is flat on it. I don't know if it's hard to see, but I flattened it out. There's no kinks. And after I did that, I injected into this tube some thermal compound. It's the white paste. And I slid the thermistor all the way in until it was tight against this end where it's crimped. And then I put some E6000 at this end to prevent from yanking it out. Now the way this works, on pin 2 and pin 3 on the integrated circuit, you have one pin that's used as a reference voltage, and you have another pin which is hooked up to this potentiometer and thermistor, which creates a different voltage. And the way this comes on is when the voltage with the thermistor side, when the voltage rises higher than the reference voltage, the LED comes on and it's pretty simple and I'm going to demonstrate in a minute how this works but you could adjust any temperature you want right here with this 5k pot and you could also have this activate for cold you would just switch the positions of the thermistor and the potentiometer and you can also if you want eliminate the LED and put a PNP transistor and you can have it power a relay. So when the heat, re when the temperature reaches a certain point, it'll also trigger a relay. This will detect in a roughly a little under 10 seconds, you'll get a reading on this. So if I put this in hot water and it's at least 160, within 10 seconds this light will come on. If it's under 160, it will not come on. I made this as a probe for testing meats when you're cooking on the barbecue, chicken and pork, I just shove it right in there next to the bone or in the middle of the cut and if the light comes on I know I'm good to go. I'm going to encase this whole thing in a small flashlight. I'm going to eliminate the bulb and just have this device with a momentary button so I could just push in and if the light comes on it's done. 162 still on. Fifty five off.